Will quantum computers kill Bitcoin? Technology, AI, and computation are compounding in capability at a pace humanity has never really seen. That accelerating rate of change creates enormous potential for disruption, both good and bad. One of my core theses is that accelerating technological progress will exert downward pressure on the price of almost all assets and most consumer goods, concentrating the majority of new wealth into Bitcoin. But the obvious question follows, is Bitcoin itself vulnerable to the same creative destruction? Could quantum computers disrupt Bitcoin? It is an important question because the honest answer is that if extremely powerful quantum computers existed today, Bitcoin would be vulnerable. For example, Satoshi's estimated 1 to 2 million paid to public key coins expose public keys directly on chain. A sufficiently powerful quantum computer could derive private keys from those public keys. Those coins would be up for grabs. The community would need to decide whether it is comfortable with 1 to 2 million coins being captured by whichever entity first cracks those private keys. And it is not just those early coins. Consider an even more extreme hypothetical. Imagine an unexpected breakthrough in quantum hardware where quantum computers suddenly become abundant, cheap, and incredibly fast. Fast enough that anyone could derive a private key from a public key in under 10 seconds. This scenario is wildly unlikely in the near term, but it illustrates the edge case. In that world, most coins would not be safe. Today, people say quantum attacks only threaten keys that have been publicly revealed, meaning reused addresses or paid to public key outputs. But if quantum computers became fast and ubiquitous, they could effectively capture your public key the moment you broadcast the transaction. As soon as your transaction hits the mempool, an attacker could derive your private key nearly instantly, sign a conflicting transaction to their own address, attach a much higher fee, and miners would include their transaction instead of yours. The point of walking through the scenario is simple. If quantum computers became a real threat, the Bitcoin community must act before they exist, and especially before they become cheap and fast. The good news is that developers are already working on this problem. There are active conversations and draft Bitcoin improvement proposals, BIPs, aimed at making Bitcoin quantum resistant. One is a proposal authored by Hunter Beast from Surmount Systems, a Bitcoin-focused quantum security initiative. His draft BIP outlines a possible soft fork path to quantum resistant addresses and signatures. It is still early with no implementation yet, but it represents exactly the kind of forward looking work the ecosystem needs. If quantum computers truly arrive at scale, Bitcoin will need to upgrade its cryptography. That process may continue indefinitely a long game of cryptographic cat and mouse, unless humanity eventually discovers an unbreakable form of cryptography, which may or may not be possible. It is also worth emphasizing that this is not just a Bitcoin problem. If strong quantum computers suddenly became practical, every critical system relying on modern cryptography would be threatened. Nuclear command systems, the banking sector, the internet, exchanges, custodians, property records, government databases, and more would all require urgent upgrades. Bitcoin would not be uniquely vulnerable. It would simply be one of the many systems forced to upgrade. The bottom line is that quantum risk is real in theory, manageable in practice, and actively being worked on today. As long as the community remains vigilant and continues to push for proposals for quantum resistant upgrades, Bitcoin can adapt and survive, likely for centuries to come. Thanks for watching everyone and see you next time.